If I could write a letter in this perfect moment, what would I tell you? Who? You. Who is one me. The first person I owe an apology to for failing to fulfill the most basic of human lifelines at time. I've lived lifetime inside wounds I had no right to own. Yes, it's not my fault. I've always known this. That was never my question. It was, Mama, why didn't you love me enough to stay? A question I've tried to answer and found only grown children asking the same question. I've sought guidance in the tears of lovers who sat from age three to eight on a doorstep, waiting for their father in another country to come join them to come back home. I know ladies who've lost loved ones to addictions, to streets, to needles in arms, and we wound each other beautifully. I am sorry to them but first to myself forever thinking I was not worthy of being loved for a lifetime. And it's no wonder in relationships so many of us learn to leave first, no more. I deserve to be present in the presence of this present moment perfectly. Two. Every evening I wonder what right does a son have to tell a father who lost his wife, let go? Like that demon you hold of the last memory of her not breathing. The ambulance in the garage, the failed first attempt in the bathtub, the decades of pain you tried to talk her through. Dad, let go of her in that house you refused to leave. She haunts you, not because of what you did or did not do, but because she misses you. You who has been my roadmap for masculine and feminine in the absence of estrogen energy and brown and male and hands weathered from mechanics and fields and drafts and guns and dad. Put down your tears in your palm. Hold me instead. I am ready to do the same. Three. To my sisters and my sisters, to my brother and my brother from other mothers and all the other OVs of the world, exhale. Whether you are indigo energy, zinc blue, lavender laughter, amber energy, whatever color you are when you are crunk drunk on the dance floor, bluish bruises and blinking breath, whatever BS way you say I live in color, say I live in color, no matter the gray LA skyline, the NY gritty city grind, the bleaching creams they sold us, the screams when they sold us, exhale. Like breathing's lessons underwater, exhale. Like a cop's gun to your dome, exhale. Like lovers turning sunsets into vanilla sky, exhale, remember. We are the sound of color so beautiful we even turn dreams damp with the sweat of our breath when we make life, make love. Four. And this perfect moment is you, Miss Fragmented Pink Perfection, who I want to tell you every second you breathe is your most perfect moment. Thank you. Most days I feel my heart is large enough to house and hold all of humanity with those who are wounded young and often receiving the biggest rooms where the walls are made of angels' arms so they can continually hold you whenever needed. There is a drum in the distance and your father, he's dancing in the desert. Every now and then he kicks up a cloud storm to rain because you are thirsty. This is not a metaphor. This is a prescription written from researching my own pain. Your name is Derad from Loot. It's played like oud. It is all music, isn't it? Your out of chord life, the different keys, the movements, the composition, the scales. It 
is all music. The soul is all music. Your sorrow, all music. Your beauty, all music. Your pain, all music. And I want you to know I hear you. Like the echoing energy of a familiar wound. And a familiar wound. Your voice is my lifeline in this healing process, beautiful sister. Wounded warriors, powerful soldiers, I hear you.